I don't know if you've heard about it, but propeller heads, the creators of Reason, the worst named door since Ableton Live, have released a product called the Baseline Generator. Let me tell you a little bit about it. What you do is insert a couple of parameters and this device will create a baseline for you. Sounds simple, but what does that really mean? Now first let me just point out that I'm not only picking on this particular product or on propeller heads specifically. There are a variety of companies out there making products like this. And also, there are a large number of drum products which do a similar thing. But I have a personal gripe about this type of product. Call me old-fashioned, but as a musician, I believe that it's my job to create music. Now I know that we have reached a point where computers are starting to create music on their own. And while I admire that from a scientific and technological perspective, music should be the realm of people. Music is a purely creative art form, and a way for human beings to express themselves at the deepest levels. It is one of the last refuges of human creativity. Once we hand that over to a computer, what do we have left? This type of product is the gateway drug for people to have a computer create music for them. And sadly, because it's sold as a musical product, people are going to think that they are making music when they use this product. But let me assure you that if a computer is making a baseline for you, you are not making music. Now the drum products like Stephen Slate Drums, Easy Drummer and the like walk a very fine line on this. I'm okay with them, but only within a certain context. If you're feeling lazy and you just want to lay down a four to the floor drum beat with 16th note hats and you want to use Easy Drummer, I'm okay with that. But if Easy Drummer is creating all of your drum beats for you, that is one part of the music creation process that you are not doing. But somehow, when it comes to melodies, it feels even worse. While a lot of drum beats can be pretty generic, your melodies are the place where you stamp your own uniqueness on a track. So if you have a product like the Baseline Generator creating bass melodies for you, how much are you really writing music? This type of software also has the potential of fooling non-musicians or poor musicians into believing that they are writing music when they are in fact not. This is similar to what can happen in a door if someone simply pulls together a series of loops. If I find a drum loop, and a bass loop, and a couple of melodic synth loops, and put them together into a track, I might think that I have created a great song. But in fact, all I've done is placed together some loops that somebody else created. You're only actually a musician when you are the one who creates the music. Now I understand that everybody is looking for ways to make life easier, and to make their jobs easier, but if you call yourself a musician, and you can't come up with your own baseline, you need to check yourself. There comes a point when things that are designed to make tasks easier, cross over into doing those tasks for you. Sometimes that's great. I own a Roomba. It's a little robot vacuum cleaner. It's great. It makes my life way easier. But can I actually say I did the vacuuming when I use it? I don't think so. Now in that instance, I don't care, because I don't want to do the vacuuming. Nor do I want to claim credit for doing the vacuuming. I just want the vacuuming done. But when I write music, I want it to be from me. 
I would feel like I was cheating if I used a product like this. And you should too. The temptation to use something just because it's there can be quite strong, especially in this technological age where there is so much new shit coming at us from every direction. But products like this are hijacking creativity from musicians. If you're using software like this, you're not really writing music. So I want to encourage you as musicians to avoid products like this so that you can express your own creativity. Otherwise, you'll just become very good at programming an AI to make music for you. If you like this content, please drop a comment below. If you disagree with me, I'm interested in hearing your reasoning. Please put a polite comment below. I only respond to polite comments, so if you want a response, make it gracious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel where there will be more of this coming at you soon.